You're listening to the BBM Global Network with 25 years in broadcast audio and video production. Our passionate team creates content and marketing for the world of Internet talk radio. If you've got a passion, come join us at bbmglobalnetwork.com. The BBM Global Network. Your voice is now heard. Welcome to A Call to Heal with your hosts, Carol Lee and Julia. If you're tired and not feeling energized or not sure what your purpose is in life, Carol Lee and Julia are here to provide information and energy to make a greater you. Now, please welcome the hosts of A Call to Heal, two powerful energy movers, Carol Lee and Julia. Hello, and welcome to A Call to Heal. I'm your host, Julia Stubbe. And hello, everyone. I'm your host, Carolee Schloth, and you are tuned into the BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio. And we are grateful and appreciate each and every one of you who are listening live or to the recording. And we will be taking calls from those of you who would like for Julia and I to facilitate a healing with you. So please call 855-856-1380. And if you would like further information about Julia and I, you could go to awarenessbeyond.com. So each week we start off with guided imagery. So, Carolee, I thought since some of our listeners may not be familiar on what and how guided imagery works, we could explain that to them. So you want to talk, talk a little bit about that? Sure. Guided imagery is a tool that we can use that's really powerful. It's extremely fast, and it allows us to really tap into the unconscious energies of our mind and body and allows us, through visualization, to really tap into these deeper energies and bring them up to the conscious mind and help us heal our bodies. Okay. So- so we're going to do some guided imagery, and I'm going to, let's get started. So let's everybody get comfortable and close your eyes. And if you're operating a car or machinery, um, leave your eyes wide open because we might be moving into alternative realities, and we really need you to focus on what you're doing. So let's center ourselves by taking three deep breaths, breathing in gold light of peace and joy, Going deeper with each breath. One more breath in, holding the breath and releasing. And one more breath in and out. And let's bring our attention to our heart space. Begin to think of earth and all the beauty. See the forests, the oceans, and the magnificent mountains. Feel the love you have for the planet. Begin to build this loving energy up and send it down to earth through your root. Send it to the crystalline core, connecting with the divine feminine and the divine masculine of the planet. Let the love of the planet return to you, filling your heart space. Feel this love rising up through your body. Allow it to run perfectly through all your fields. Now, think of all that is beyond Earth, the planets, the stars, the galaxies, and the suns beyond the suns. Feel the love that you have for all beyond. Send this love up through your crown to the core of creation. Feel this love returning to you. Allow it to run through all of your fields, blending perfectly with Earth's love. Feel this blended love and expand out through your fields. As we continue to feel these powerful energies, we bring our consciousness to our heart. Feel your heart. Feel these potent energies running through the core of you. Drop further deeper into your heart. Stay connected. Your higher self knows how to do this. Now, imagine that you are at a powerful sacred waterfall on the side of a mountain. The waterfall cascades into a warm pool. See yourself standing at the edge of the pool. 
dive in and allow the waters to clear all dense energies, all negative thought forms, and all beings off your fields. Swim through the waters, feeling this release. Go deeper into the water to release deeper into your fields. Now, just float in this incredible water. You notice colorful fish swimming around you. They are sharing the gift of their colored rays. Absorb the perfect energy of colors for you right now. As you continue to float, you can hear birds singing. So many beautiful calls and sounds. Let their healing sounds penetrate your fields. Absorb the perfect sound to heal your fields. Accept this gift. Now, notice the huge colored crystals at the bottom of the pool. These powerful beings emit energy to help you open, clear, align, integrate, balance, and stabilize your chakras, meridians, organs, glands, and bodies, your systems and all systems within all bodies. Open further to this incredible healing energy. Continue to float, enjoying the energy of you. Expand your fields further and open to all you remember. And so it is, and so it is. Oh, thanks, Julia. Thank you for that healing. Thank you, Carly. So we have a lot going on this week with the summer solstice and all that energy gateway. What's been happening with you with that? Because I know I've been experiencing some interesting interesting things happening with my physical body with this. Yeah, since last Monday when that gateway opened, there's been a lot of heat energy running through the body as well as chills. I shift back and forth between being too hot and being too cold, as well as the skeletal systems having difficulty holding all that light. I remember that we had all those discs um, being aligned and opened last week, and I've been feeling that all week throughout my spine as those new spaces are expanding. My body's trying to keep up. So I've been going to yoga to try to stretch it out and to feel good. Yeah, I've I've been experiencing a lot of the heat. It's like my body's been feeling like it's on fire. So really like that opening and expanding and holding that more energy is really affecting me that way. So we have um, coming up this Wednesday, we have a great opportunity to take advantage of those energies. Do you want to tell our listeners about that? Yes, we're going to have our transformational group healing on Wednesday night at 730. And you can go to our website awarenessbeyond.com to register for that and that is the night before the closing of that gateway and Julia and I have been guided to work with alignment energies as well as clearing as well as some planetary service work that we will be doing while we're on that call so it's 45 minutes and it's extremely powerful and it's really going to aid us those of us that are awoken and aware and are holding these energies here on the planet. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. I just, I still am always amazed how spirit guides us and we see such similar things and see the same things and how when we bring our fields together, the increase of our energy and what it provides. But I do want to say to our listeners that we are just vessels for energy and information because we, we, we do not do any healing ourselves. So how would you explain that to our listeners, Carolee? That they are actually healing themselves. We're just being able to see what's there to present it in a form that everyone can understand and allow the listener to take that energy out of their fields and let it go or bring in higher vibrations to help them heal pieces of themselves. So we're really just facilitators and guides. I agree with that. Cause like we might see like an elephant sitting on somebody's chest, or we may see butterflies or we may see spiders, um, implants and such. And we all, you know, so we see those things and then they may for the listener, whoever's listening, represent something to them, or it just may be something. So they don't really have to know exactly what it means. They just have to be able to give permission to let it go. Right. And we'll see all kinds of different things in the fields. We may see rips and tears. We work with implants and programs, and they're just combined energies that are dense, that are of false beliefs that we have believed either in this lifetime or in past lifetimes or perhaps even future lifetimes. And we're just in there letting that out. It's that awareness and becoming conscious of it so that you can let it go. Most of the energy that's all over us is unconscious. Right. Go ahead. And so that's what you and I do. We go in and see what's unconscious, what we're unaware of. And we go in and we find that and help the listener release that out. 
And it's really important to have that awareness because that's the, the key to everything is that awareness. It's like if you're feeling drained or if you're feeling not quite yourself is to be aware of that so that you can change and raise your vibration to be able to shift that reality. So we might do it through singing or making tones or just giggling or, or laughing, um, getting out in nature, putting our feet in the grass. There's a whole bunch of different ways to do that. Yeah. And like you said, the biggest thing is to be aware. Most of us walk around not feeling great and we, we're not even aware why. And suddenly you just start bringing your attention to your energy fields and you start saying off of me, release all this. And all of a sudden you feel it leaving your body and you feel so much better. And it's really a process, like healing's a process. So it's constant awareness, constant letting go, like peeling the layers of an onion off. It's not, you know, it's like, oh, I think it's an event. It's not an event. Healing is not an event. It's definitely a process and you need to keep continuing awareness. It's like you can't just do it one day and then the next day expect it, it to to do nothing. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm always looking at my reality that I create and I say, Ooh, why do I have that? Sometimes I might really love what I created. And other times I'm like, wow, why did I create that? And then I look at it and I start looking at the energy I'm radiating out. Even if I don't really believe that I carry that energy of something I'm watching, like say I see somebody being mean and angry and I say, I'm not being mean and angry. Well, deep inside me, I am. So let's let it out. And we just go in and we release that energy. And so what you you and I do here tonight, Julia, is we go in and we see the energy in the fields of the listener that's calling in and representing everyone. And that's what's so exciting about this radio show. That one person who's brave that calls in allows all of us that are listening to release that energy from our fields also. We're all carrying the same energy to a different degree since we're all one and we're all connected. So these calls tonight really facilitate healing for everyone that's listening now or even in the future. And that's what's so amazing about it. Yeah, I think it's pretty cool because even if you go and listen to the recordings, that energy of the broadcast is going to affect you as if you were listening live. I, yeah, when I get, you know, how we get those emails from people and they say, wow, I was laying there and I literally felt when you talk, when you spoke about the crown on my head, I literally felt it come off my head. And that's what's really fun about it. And some people do really feel it and some people don't have their vibration there where they can yet. And that's OK, too. But it is happening whether you're feeling it or not, if you are allowing it to. Right. And it's, it's definitely about allowing it, that I'm going to allow this process to happen. I'm going to allow these this and I don't want to say negative and negative, but these energies that are keeping me from moving my vibration higher, I'm going to allow that to happen. So giving yourself permission to let this go, these things that show up in the radio of whoever's, you know, facilitating, you know, call our caller for you to give that permission as well, not just our caller, but for you as a listener to give that permission. That's really important because everything is intention and you are the creator of your reality. So when you set that intention and say, yes, I'm going to release this, you are releasing it. And if the person on the call is having trouble releasing it, then some of the listeners are too. And so we just keep going with the energies of what's happening and more and more lifts off out of our body and we feel good. And like you said, you're literally, when your vibration's higher, you're in a different reality than someone whose vibration's lower. One just isn't as fun. The higher vibration's easier to navigate. Right. And I, I wanted to talk a little bit about the chakras. We have a, um, a couple minutes before the break. So for people who aren't familiar with what the chakras are, they're energy centers within your body. So there's the main ones that are like in your root area and then your solar plexus, your sacral area, your heart, your throat, your third eye and your crown. And when these are all running properly and running and flowing properly, then the energy gets to flow through you without any blocks. So that's one of the things I think that spirit is guiding us to look at with our callers tonight as well. And each chakra is related to a body so that your solar plexus is related to your emotional body. And so when we're clearing that energy, we're, you're clearing that body and we are multidimensional beings. So it's going to be fun, but it's time for a break. Yeah, so I believe we have Amanda coming up after the break, and we're going to 
we're going to start doing a facilitating healing. Carolee and I will facilitate a healing. So I'm your host with Carolee and Julia, and we are on a call to heal on the BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio. So stay tuned and we'll be right back. Dr. Rob Moyer is the director of the Ocean River Institute, and he is passionate about saving the ocean by helping dolphins suffering from nitrogen pollution. Nitrogen is a dangerous pollutant, affecting our oceans, altering ocean ecosystems, and contributing to global warming. The Ocean River Institute provides opportunities to make a difference and encourages people to go the distance for savvy stewardship of a greater and bluer planet Earth. Partnered with organizations from Massachusetts to Florida, Alaska to the Caribbean, the Ocean River Institute's mission is to foster involvement in conservation and environmental monitoring by facilitating grassroots efforts at local and regional levels. Hello, I'm Rob Moyer of the Ocean River Institute. Please visit our website at oceanriver.org. Sign up for free e-alerts. You may call us at 617-661-6647. Our email address is info at Ocean River. Become informed and then act with us. Thank you. Joseph A. Moylan is the owner of Ion Health, which specializes in very unique medical devices. Ion Health offers biomats, alkalife, and frequency machines. Biomats are a far infrared and negative ion emitting FDA approved medical device. With many different sizes available, you can place them on your bed, on a massage table, or on a seat in your car. It is an unobtrusive way to health. Alkalife machines are water ionizers that cleanse and raise the alkalinity of your tap water, making high alkaline water. Frequency machines utilize certain frequencies to kill viruses and bacteria. These devices are safe and effective. Coming from a health-conscious background and studying physiology at the Academy of Natural Health, Joseph A. Moylan has 15 years of experience in the health field and wants to help you live a healthy, long life. Visit www.ionhealthbiomats.weebly.com or call 765-520-2988. Don't let your health go astray. Get in touch today. Welcome back, everybody. I'm your host, Carolee, joined with my co-host today, Julia, and you are listening to A Call to Heal on the BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio. So before the break, we were talking about what healing is, and we have Amanda on the phone so for us to facilitate a healing with. So Amanda, what's what brings you to A Call to Heal? What could we do for you if we could do anything, which we don't do anything. You're going to do it all yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Well, um, I really kind of isolated myself the past year, year and a half, um, because it started to become really uncomfortable being around my family and friends and the kind of conversations they had were very um, complaining about the past or worrying about future things that hadn't even happened yet, and I started to feel just very alone in the moment so like in the present um it feels very lonely here so it's um i guess loneliness kind of wanting to start creating a reality where i have people more Mm -hmm. like-minded in my life yeah and that's really a normal process as we raise our vibration and frequency it's like those lower densities it's like it's really hard it's, I mean personally it's hard for me to be around that energy but what you still have to live in this 3D world so one of the things that I do is I detach myself by pretending I'm watching their movie their reality and just say this is not part of my reality but for you what we want to do is we want to turn on that attraction to attract that same vibration that si- same or higher frequency level so that we can bring more of that into your life so Carolee yeah. I'm getting that we should go to the heart space is where I see the, the blocks there yeah and I'm also- seeing these blankets all around her several of them there's about eight or nine blankets and these are shields that she has that's protecting her from the energies of everyone but what they're also doing is blocking her from allowing those interconnections that she's seeking right so you ready to take off your blankets Amanda yes Okay, so so let's take them off like one at a time because I'm, you, you ripped off the first and second one, but the third one's like, oh, I just like this color <laughs> and texture. <laughs> so it's got little baby sheep on it. At least that's what I see on this little blanket. So you ready to let that one go too? Come on, you can do it. Yes. 
<laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, the fourth blanket's coming off nice and smooth. Fifth one's off. Okay, that sixth one. Carly, I'm not, she's not letting that one go. What do you see with that one? I'm seeing her little inner child standing there about that other blanket also. And this one's related also. This one looks like a teenage blanket that she's had. So, Amanda, are you ready to go in and work with your younger self? Yes. Okay, so let's go back to the little blanket. You're about three. So just close your eyes and begin to feel and see your young three-year-old self. She's so adorable to see her coming towards you. And that blanket was something she used to feel good. Right, she felt safe with that blanket. So you need to talk to her. She has a message for you, so if you're quiet, she might. She may say something if you're ready for her to speak. But I'm... What I'm getting is that she needs to hear you tell her that she's safe now and that you're there for her, that she doesn't require this blanket anymore. So do you want to have that little conversation with her? Okay. Hmm. There it goes. Yeah, now we're going to go, we're going to jump to where she's 13, 14 for that other one. Oh, oh, Amanda, do you have um, <laughs> that fun teenage energy of defensiveness is the energy we're getting here. So let's let this go. It was a really good device to make you be okay at that time and you needed it, but you don't need it anymore. And it's directly the way we're seeing it is this blanket. And just know that you are perfect and you are wonderful and you are loved just the way you are different and it's a beautiful different and we need you the whole planet needs the energy of you and there we go letting that go and there we go opening that heart further and further yeah so do you want to give that teenage your teenage self a nice hug just give her a hug and give give her a kiss on the forehead if you choose there you go okay all right, so we've got one more blanket. Oh, she doesn't want to let this one go either. <laughs> oh. It feels good. All right, we need to let this go, though, because it's literally blocking you from moving on your path the way you want to. So let's just release all the vows and contracts and everything that's locked us in place. It has aided you, but it's no longer serving. We're going to let it go right up. You've taken it off. You've dropped it onto the ground. We'll let Earth absorb it. Okay, now you're telling me you feel naked. So we're going to surround you. You are going to take in the light and surround yourself with a beautiful diamond, golden platinum light that is you. And it's just going to embalm you and fill your fields so that you don't feel naked. You're going to feel a lot lighter in your life. And your energy fields are going to keep expanding. Now, the funny piece to this, as Julia and I know, is then you feel everything. <laughs> so you really want to, Amanda, you want to be really cognizant of clearing your fields every day. Because what happens is they pick up everyone else's energy, and then you get bogged down and you feel tired and drained. And it, it's literally just other people's energy that you're changing and transmuting for them because that's what you do. Are you aware of that, Amanda? Um, yes. Okay, so we, as Julia said earlier, we clear by just laying down and telling our fields to clear or getting in the shower or going out in nature and letting earth take it off us. But we have to be cognizant of it and do it. You can put on fun music, anything, and set that intention for your fields to clear and all those negative thought forms and everything come off of you. And so right now there's quite a few Klingons in your fields, I call them. And are you ready to let all these go? Yes. Okay, so we're just going to have a beautiful column of golden light surround you, and which is just like a vacuum. It's just sucking all this off of you, all these thought forms, all these energies, all that's not serving for you anymore. Okay, and I'm being guided to tone a little bit here, so... I still see a huge spider 
in your energy field. It's in your emotional field. And this is telling me that you are a little bit afraid of moving forward because you do think you're alone. And so we're going to release the spider and then Julia and I are going to aid you in activating the energies of attraction to bring your tribe to you. We all come here with a tribe, a family. We're not alone. So are you ready for this? Yes. Okay. So there goes our spider, and here we go. Let's start that attraction energy right from your heart. I want you to focus on your heart, Amanda. We're releasing the shields that Julia saw earlier there before the blankets. And there we go, really tuning that energy up, running that energy out of attracting your tribe. Your tribe's like your soul family, whatever name we want to call it. They're all there waiting for you. And there's this beautiful beacon coming up through your crown, sending that signal for them to be able to find you. And it only, it's a signal that they can only read. So you're not like attracting everything. You're just attracting that, your tribe signal. It's only awareness of that tribe. There you go. And one of the things I'm hearing for you is to go to something, go to a yoga class or go to something at a center that attracts you because that's where you will begin to meet some of your people. Okay, so she has a big contract um, program about distrust that needs to be released as well, and that's tied in through the third eye and the throat, Carolee. So just see I how say it. Yeah. I say it, and it's all thorny in the back of her throat. All right, you ready to let this one out? We're going to ask yep. your high psychic, your high spiritual surgeon to come in to aid with this and begin to clear that back chakra of the throat, that shadow side. This is where you bring your manifestation into the world through the throat. So we're going to clear that, that whole big vine. It's ancient. Okay, we're going to release all the vows and contract and everything that's similar origin and intent that's locked in place. This is ancient and old. You've held this for a long time. Many, many lifetimes. We're going to let it go. And Amanda, we have a message for you. Atuna ho ma ho, so ma ho, namaha ho. There we go. Now the throat looks raw in the back. So again, we're going to bring that golden diamond platinum light in. It's tinged with ruby here, flooding that whole chakra, allowing this to expand clearing up that third eye, fully opening that third eye. You have so much to give, Amanda, so much to give. It's amazing. Yeah, her light's beautiful how she's shining. And I have, there's three eagles just flying around, just like, just beautifully guiding around us right now. And I'm getting the message to look up the daffodil and the rose. You'll get some information for yourself through those two beautiful flowers. Okay. So we're just going to... Do you have any questions, Amanda? No, I feel much um, lighter and very hot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so do we. <laughs> it's, it's good it's not TV. That's all I can say. <laughs> it's, it's, that's the energy, and that's your fields literally shifting and moving out all that energy that we talked about. Everything is energy, and you did a lot of work here tonight. And not only are you doing it for yourself, but you're aiding so many on the call. That is the heat of it all. Yeah, and if you can get in water, like go take a shower or a salt bath, that'll really help as far as the temperature goes and to help acclimate and integrate all this, these changes as well. As well as drink a lot of water. That'll help you also. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Amanda, I just want to thank you for coming on. Your energy is beautiful, and that healing was really, really powerful. So thank you so much. Thank you guys so much. Oh, you're so quite welcome. Thanks again for being the brave one and calling. We really, really appreciate you as far as that goes, because like we said, it touches everybody that's listening. 
Okay. Thank you. All right. Oh, you're welcome. Okay, so um, we're going to take a short commercial break, and then coming up after the break, I believe we have Marissa on the lines, and we're going to be facilitating healing for her. So I'm your host, Julia, with Carol Lee, and we are here at A Call to Heal, and we are on the BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio. So stay tuned, and we'll be right back. Renaissance woman, trailblazer, maverick. Those are just some of the words to describe to Chandra Poulard, owner and CEO of House of Virgo Entertainment, LLC, a woman minority veteran owned entertainment company based in Washington, D.C. Ms. Poulard served 10 years honorably in the United States Navy and departed from active duty to pursue her dreams of becoming an entertainment mogul. House of Virgo Entertainment offers script writing, producing, directing, DJ services, editing, and more. They cater to businesses, corporations, college students, working professionals, aspiring artists, and nonprofit organizations, and employ veterans of the armed forces. Tashandra Poulard is pioneering the way we view media and taking her brand global. Visit her at www.houseofvirgoentertainment.com or call 281-515-3740 and like her on Facebook at House of Virgo Entertainment, LLC. Certified professional coach Pamela Reeves can help you with your relationships. Motivational and image coaching are just some of the ways she can help you enhance all aspects of your life. Her book, Is It Love or Merely a Sick Attachment?, helps readers clearly distinguish healthy, loving relationships from toxic ones. Ms. Reeves has put her words into action through Ray of Hope Kenya, an international initiative that provides outreach to victims of abusive relationships there with the goal of helping them rebuild their lives and the tools to avoid abuse. Ms. Reeves operates various businesses interest through her umbrella network, Nella LLC, and credits her success to her diverse work experience. Whatever your goals, whether striking a balance, reinventing your image, or simply lifting your lifestyle, Pamela Reeves will help you achieve them. Your life, your call. Dial 410-902-5715 or email Pamela at pamreg01 at verizon.net. She's also on the web at pamreeves.com and on Twitter at Pamela underscore Reeves. And welcome back, everybody. I'm your host, Carol Lee, with my co-host, Julia, and you are listening to A Call to Heal on the BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio. And before the break, we facilitated a healing for Amanda, and now we have Marissa on the line. Marissa's from Pennsylvania. So, hi, Marissa. Hi, Marissa. Hi, how are you? Hi. Good. I'm really excited that you called in. Could you tell us um, what any concerns that you have or something that you're looking to get out of the call today? Sure. Um, honestly, Spirit just told me to call, quite honestly. Um, I mean, I listen to you guys all the time, um, and I, I really love it. And I myself um, hope that I can heal people like you guys heal people. And I, I work um, at a place where I facilitate Reiki sessions and spirit just said you know you really should call and get something out that I, I'm not exactly sure what it is but I'm hoping that you can help facilitate me in releasing whatever I need to at this moment that spirit is telling me that I need to okay we're so one of the things that um, I just want you to know that Carolee and I don't heal Okay, and that's when you when you say you heal, you can facilitate a healing, but when you say you heal, then you take ownership a lot of times of other people's stuff, and you also limit the possibilities of of the endless possibilities of what's happening. So you want to detach yourself that that you are actually doing it, but you and change that thought form or that shift that reality mm-hmm. that you are a facilitator. Does that make sense to you? Yep. Mm-hmm. So what I'm saying is that you're in a beekeeper outfit, okay, and there's all these bees around you, and it's a wonderful thing to have the bees around you, but we don't need the outfit, okay? So we're going to let this outfit go, because again, it was like the blankets that Amanda has, except it's different here. It's actually almost um, from the stars, from another reality, from another dimension that really, really needs to go right now for you, and when you release this suit, you're going to be able to see more and expand your consciousness more. So you're ready to let this go? Yes. 
there's a piece of you that's afraid you're going to get stung by the bees. That's what you're holding on to this. And the, the bees are just representing fears. They're just re representing these little energies. So we're going to clear the bees up. And I know Julia likes to use a vacuum there to suck them right up. Yeah, so we're, we're going to do that. Yeah, and they're just going to go to another – they're going to go to the flower garden and the honeybee garden. There we go. So it's just going to take those, and they're just following that path. So that whole area is clear now, and you're surrounded in a beautiful column of diamond platinum light just coming out through your fields. So now you should feel safe now to be able to take off your beekeeper outfit. And you're yeah, holding – yeah, she's holding onto her hat with two hands. Like, I really, really like the hat. I really, really like the hat, but – do you want to just toss the hat? Can you do that, Marissa? Yep. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. She's okay. giving it to Earth. Yep. And she has the gloves, too. That's what's holding. That'll help open her energy. So take the gloves off as well, Marissa. There we go. Oh, they came off nice mm -hmm. and easy. You're ready for them to go. There. Oh, and now put your hands out, Marissa, and just allow all the bees to sit on your hands. And yeah, see how that it tickles. It feels good. Yeah, so that you just look at them and know that you're safe, that they love you, and they love your energy, and that's why they're there. And then we're thinking okay. of the bee and how it creates the honey, the honey of life. And so we're, you are now opening your hands and clearing all this blockage that's been in your hands so that that clear, you can be a clear and present channel, even more so than you already are. And just feel that energy pouring into your crown, and coming out through your hands, clearing all that stagnation that was on there on those meridians. And now you'll see, you'll probably see in your third eye, all these symbols that are activating in your hands, symbols that we're not even aware of. These are healing symbols, moving beyond energies that you've been working with. You're really up in your game here. Okay, so she has two implants in her wrists that are blocking the energy coming from her heart through her hands. So we want to release those as well and all vows and contracts with that. So you ready to let those go, Marissa? Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's um, slavery and imprisonment bracelets along with these implants, layers and layers of them. So we're going to let all those go, really clearing out victim energy. Yeah, it's tied to the ankles as well. There's ankle bracelets as well, ankle shackles, releasing those as well. Okay, there's still some slave energy. I'm seeing you in a kitchen, like on a plantation. We're going to let this go through all chakras and all meridians. It's over. It's no longer serving. And we're going to want what we like to call the disco ball, which goes layers and layers and layers. We're going to just run that now. So that's going to clear that out. Let that expand out through all your fields, pushing all that slavery and victim energy out of your fields. There we go. That feels really good. Now I see you running in a field and there's all these animals chasing. And now you just turn around and face them. And they all lay down. Wow, that's you and your power now. Open up all your chakras, Marissa. There we go, front and back, letting that energy flow, pouring in through the crown and up through the earth. And now you're spinning. Woohoo! <laughs> I see the the Julie Andrews movie where she's dancing on top of the mountain. What's that? What's yeah. that? What's that song? There we go. The sound of music. Yeah. So, Marissa, you're carrying some new and unique energies that you're bringing in through this gateway. So let's mm -hmm. just ask for grace and ease as you hold them and amplify them over the next 48 hours. Okay. I'm seeing the zebra, so you might want to look that up later and see what the message is for you. You're jumping up and down really hard on the earth. You're telling me that you're still shaking off a few things. Okay, so the zebra energy is about looking at things in black and white. It's all or nothing. So this is something that actually has to be released. That's probably what she's jumping up and down about. There we go. So now I see the zebra turning all different colors. 
Nice. <laughs> There we go. So you've, you're taking off the black and white glasses and you're just you're releasing those visors off of your eyes. There we go. Cool. There's... So you're showing me your tailbone. Um, are you feeling out of balance in your hips at all? Um, a little bit, yeah. Okay. It's like an That's axis point. Thing. I didn't hear you. More so in my in my lower back, but connected to my hips. If that I don't know if that if that makes sense. Yeah, that's exactly what I mean. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right, so let's go in there. I see there's like this quicksand pit in a root that's just draining all our energy out. Yeah, Sucking let's let all that in. go. Just we're gonna release that. Yep. There we go. Releasing everything that's locking it in place. There, you can literally see it clearing up. Oh, you're going to feel a lot better. And let's ask for that tailbone and your full axis point there to balance. Aligning the spine. Particularly where the head and shoulders are, balancing all of it. Okay, I'm getting that there's, you can activate another 10% of latent DNA that can be activated if you choose to at this time. Are you ready to do that, Marissa? Yes. Okay. There we go. Yeah. So we're going to just do a, a reboot here and integrate that new DNA. There we go. Okay. I'm being drawn to the heart, Carolee. What are you seeing in the heart? Wait, I'm hearing her say, I need one more percent, one more percent, something about uh, 11. So we're just okay. let her just do that one more percent. There was something about the 11. There we go. Okay. And into the heart, I see a huge thorn. It's like a sword, actually. It's right in the front. Just pull that out, Marissa. Okay. There's another one behind it. Let them both go. Okay. That's your, you're standing there with one in each hand. You're in balance. And we're just going to release the swords. And now let's look at that hole in the heart. You see it, Julia? Yeah, they're still in the back of the heart. There's three little daggers that need to come out, so we're just going to let them come out as well because she had the two in the front and then the three in the back. Two and three, they're gone. And then we just want to soothe that and saturate that with a beautiful balm, (laughs) B-A-L-M, that kind of balm. (laughs) And it's a beautiful turquoise with sparkly ruby energy in it. And that's just soothing that heart. There we go. How does that feel, Marissa? It feels awesome. I, I really appreciate this. Marissa, they're telling me, you, your higher self, saying for you to, when you go out and about and when you're in the public eye the way that you are, to use a beautiful shield, a double shield it's called. And Julia has come across one that actually has an electronic energy between the double shield. And to think of that and use that when you go out and it will really aid you in holding your light and not having so many devices in your field. Right. And it's that okay. simple is that you just say, I, I want to activate my double shield with the electronic um, layer in it. And it's just it's that quick. You don't have to do anything special. And then you can you can turn it up degrees. So it's like, oh, I don't I still kind of feel some stuff coming through. I'm going to just amp that up maybe to 30 or 40. Or if you're really in a situation where it feels tough, amp it up to 150, whatever you feel, just connect with your higher self and trust that you know what's right for you at that time. It really, okay. really works. It really, really works if you're listening right now and you hear this and you're like, it kind of sounds bizarre, but it, it, as you work with these energies and you're out in public and you put that shield up and then you keep amping it up, all of a sudden you don't feel anything anymore that you are feeling. It's amazing. So do you have any other questions, Marissa? 
No, that's that's everything that I was inquiring about. Awesome. You're, 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 you're just, your light is just so beautiful. Your energy is really, really beautiful. Well, thank you. Yeah. yeah, I know that where you go, you make a huge change. So thanks for calling in. We are so grateful. So we're thank going you. to take, okay, thank you. We're going to take a short commercial break and coming up after the break, I believe we have Kim on the line and I'm your host, Julia with Carol Lee. And we are here at a call to heal on the BBM global network and tune in radio. So stay tuned and we'll be right back. For over 50 years, Evelyn Stapula has been a loving advocate for people with disabilities throughout the state of Pennsylvania. President and founder of Big Heart Bridges, her organization actively campaigns for legislation and support of civil liberties that meet the needs of disabled individuals with housing, transportation, and employment. Ms. Dupula has joined forces with a variety of esteemed organizations that advocate for the disabled. She serves on the board of the United Cerebral Palsy of Pittsburgh and the Governor's Cabinet and Advisory Committee for People with Disabilities, and she is a consultant for the Pennsylvania Governor's Conference for Women. Her many efforts have led to the implementation of a transportation program for the disabled with the Access Paratransit System of Allegheny County. Evelyn Stapoulis drives daily to serve the interests of the disabled, to protect their freedoms, and enable them to live normal public lifestyles. To learn more, please call 412-491-2605 or email Evelyn at ers92645 at verizon.net. Attorney Renee Marie Smith is changing the way we sell real estate. She wrote a series of books called My Short Sale Guru Guides for all real estate practitioners. Whether you're a homeowner wanting to understand the process, an agent who has been handling short sales for years, or an industry analyst wanting to know how short sales impact your business, Renee uses her vast real estate experience to take a comprehensive look at the recent market phenomena while relaying it in an easy-to-understand format. Through her company, Smith Title Services, Renee has counseled thousands of short sale participants and processed in excess of a thousand short sales. Her knowledge is transformational for real estate professionals and laymen alike, and her live presentations provide people the opportunity to ask specific questions about their issues. Buy her books and schedule her to speak at your next event. Visit www.smithtitleservices.com or call 305 705 3428 or email her at renee at smithtitleservices.com. Isn't it time to sell your property today? Learn the My Short Sale Guru way. And welcome back, everybody. I'm your host, Carol Lee, joined today with my co-host, Julia, and you are listening to A Call to Heal on the BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio. So before the break, we facilitated uh, healing with Marissa, and I just, I'm really grateful. I just want to, again, send my gratitude out to Marissa for calling in. And now we have Kim here. So Kim, how are you doing today? Well, I am just so very grateful to be able to talk to you too. You two are amazing. Um, I meditate a lot, and when I ask for what do I need to know today, I get answers. And the other day I was shown that I needed to let go of some very old patterning from parents and generally this area. Uh, And um, I have gotten... Lesson after lesson after lesson the past three days that have slammed me. And I thought I'd learned the lesson. So how do we how do we truly get to the bottom of it all and release it all when we know what exactly what we're working on? How do you get to the bottom of it? So it is an onion, okay? And so as you are cognizant of it, you're literally peeling off the layers. So what happens is what comes back is a lower layer, a deeper layer. And so you say, oh, here it is again, and you literally face it, and you tell the energies to leave. And then it'll come in less, and it'll do that until it becomes completely gone where we don't feel it or we laugh at it or it just doesn't even matter anymore or we don't create it in our reality. So something that's really strong can be a large onion and you're like wow here it is again and as soon as you came on the call I saw you in the center of a huge rose bush so what that was showing me is the roses mean love but then there's all these thorns so there's this energy of betrayal that's surrounding you is that what you're experiencing yes (laughs) 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I, I know that energy because we all have it as we are all one. And yeah, when that energy comes back at you and you get betrayed, you're like, wow. Um, and so we just keep releasing it. So I see that we're going to go in with that disco ball and you have already said it. You've already seen it. Now what's going on here is it's an amazingly huge implant that's through all of your chakras. Every one of them is holding it. And I look at an implant as like a DVD player and all the programs are the DVDs. So you have this huge implant through your entire every body of who you are that has betrayal in it so it's huge and that's what we're going to start letting go you're going to start letting that go and I'm so grateful that you called in with this because we all have it and we're all releasing layers of it the hairs are standing straight up on my body right now so let's just let this implant go through your higher self through this earth reality taking it out of all the chakras and your higher self's telling me that you did a huge job on getting where you are and that just knowing it and looking at it is is so amazing and allowing you to let this implant go it's going to take a while it's not going to be gone in a few seconds it'll be gone though tonight completely and then the programming can be released yeah, and one of the things, Kim, I just want to say, just so you know, I still sometimes, it's like I work on my stuff all the time, and every once in a while, it's like something will show up, and it's like, I thought I cleared that, but then I have to just shift the energy and say, okay, cool, let's, thank you for showing up, so let's let this go, and then if you just have it with that attitude or that awareness, that it's just one more thing that's just going to let it go and, and move forward, and to separate yourself from the emotion of it if you could do that that is helpful for me anyway we're going to bring in a lot of i'm going to call it almost grace joy it looks like but it's a high vibrational energy allowing this implant to come out with ease yeah, she's she's holding on to her favorite two DVDs. There we go. You have two two that are your favorite. So you want to just can you toss them because Kim, you're saying, you keep oh. repeating it. <laughs> you keep repeating it. So just say I'm gonna I'm letting go of my two favorite DVDs, and they'll know which ones they are. They're the ones that you keep reliving over and over. Okay, you let one go. You have one more. It's in your left hand. I see. Ready to let that she go, Kim. Did. I am. She just threw it like a frisbee. Okay, cool beans. <sighs> and Kim, that device will be out, okay? So that means you don't have to keep repeating it now. And when the device goes out, the programming will go with it. And then anything that you experience is just deeper layers. So you just keep saying of energy that's stuck. You just keep saying, okay, go. And it'll keep releasing. Okay, so I'm also seeing down in her lower chakra, there's a, a vine that's tied all the way up through her nervous system to that heart chakra and into the throat that needs to be let go at this time. It's that thorny vine, rose vine. Yeah, let's let that out very delicately. Mm -hmm. It's really attached to, it's kind of bleeding into all your fields also. Yeah, so let's ask her her highest of higher self surgeon to come in, that team, her surgeon team to come in and just gently take that out. And they'll work on that and then soothe it with a beautiful golden aqua healing balm down through that nervous system. And Kim, let's align your body. You were thrown out of whack here from this. So let's align your mental, emotional, spiritual, physical bodies. Your emotional body was kind of slammed there healing that tear and flooding you with the energy of joy and peace and knowing how much you're loved and what a beacon of light you are there we go do you feel better so much better thank you thank you thank you when you said I threw it like a frisbee, I literally did that a few seconds before yeah. you articulated it. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, we're 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 always amazed at, that Carly and I. We were just talking about that. Sometimes we get really dumbfounded. It's like, oh, I see that too. It's like, how? It's like, is this? You know, how does this happen that we can see the exact same thing? It just, it just that awareness is just really, really wild sometimes. 
and we're also interconnected. And the funny thing is, we we literally do read each other's minds, but we think that we don't, but we do. There, Kim, I see it on a horse. And you are just galloping off. So as you continue to release this, there's some new opportunities that are going to come your way. And you are so strong. You are sitting up so strong on this horse and just flying. So enjoy it. I'm ready. Thank you. Thank you so much. I, I feel more ready now than I did before I got on the call. Awesome. You're so welcome. So, Carly, for those listeners who want to experience more of this clearing, do you want to tell them about um, what we have going on Wednesday night? So Wednesday night at 730, Julia and I will be facilitating a healing like this. It will be 45 minutes, though, and everyone on the call, we will all connect. We will be doing releasing as well as an activation energy, um, carrying this gateway that's closing the next day, as well as moving the energy through the planet in a real way of awareness. Um, it will be extremely powerful, and you can go on our website, Awoken. I always no, say awareness, awareness, awarenessbeyond.com. <laughs> We we get we get so flustered sometimes with this energy. It's like we don't even know where we are. But it's awarenessbeyond.com, and it's under the events page, and you can get information and register at that time as well. So the other thing I wanted to say to everyone that's listening is that whether you felt this or not, this is going to affect you. It's, it's touching you. It's raising your vibration, your frequency. And it's really important for you to stay hydrated and drink water. And, and what that does when you drink water and stay and get in water, it helps to clear that the residual energy that, that out of your fields. And that's really, really important. And be aware of what your reality is showing you, because as you're shifting, you're going to get a lot of messages. So if you see different animals, look them up. If you come across people saying the same thing to you, um, be cognizant of it and say, wow, what is this message? And keep releasing the energies, particularly in your fields, so that you can be lighter and lighter. So I want to thank everybody for tuning in to the BBM Global Network and Tune In Radio and listening to A Call to Heal Today. And just remember that you are the radiant ones. You are powerful beings. So stay heart-centered and connected to your infinite awareness. Good night, everyone. You've been listening to A Call to Heal with your hosts, Carolee and Julia. Join us each week and be the best you can be on the next episode of Carolee and Julia's A Call to Heal. been listening to the bbm global network the ideas views and opinions of this broadcast are those of the participants of the program and are not necessarily the ideas views and opinions of the bbm global network company